Hi guys, I hope everything is okay and welcome to the third Praxis session of Modverse. This is part of a series of English Praxis videos brought to you by English Windows Online Learning Platform to help second baccalaureate students in Morocco get ready and well prepared for the English National Exam, especially uh, the grammar section. Now guys, we have arrived at uh, the quiz number three and uh, again the total statement here we have Tim uh, statement in sentences we'll be having different options uh, regarding the model verbs we got to choose the right one that express the right meaning based on the context that we have and then the full score is 20 points and uh, we should score at least uh, 10 points to pass this quiz and the time limit is set to five minutes as usual now if you're ready let's go ahead now we have the first statement here your eyes are red and swollen this morning you have cried all night what do you think guys do we say you can't have cried all night you ought to or you mess or you should what do you think is the right model verb to express to express the correct meaning very good great we have here some sort of deduction right so or certainty so or high probability so we should rather say we or you mass have cried all night because there are some signs of uh let me say uh that you have been crying right some signs of uh, of weeping right okay here we go guys let's move on to number two it's all my fault i admit i and then we have a gap i have checked the doors before going to bed do i say i mass can, should, or may. What do you think is the right one to use here, guys? Very good. We say here, I should have checked the doors before going to bed. We are exp expressing here some sort of blaming, some sort of regret, and so on, right? It's, it just as if you say, if only I had checked uh, the doors before uh let, let's say i go to bed very good yes let's move on to number three guys your attention we have less than uh three minutes great lena you have your to have cheated in the exam now she has to wait for a year to sit for it again do we say lena sh couldn't or mustn't or shouldn't or oughtn't what do you think is the right model verb to express the right meaning i think it's very easy here guys Okay, as you notice here in the sense in the statement, we have two after the gap. Okay, so we can't use couldn't, mustn't, shouldn't. These are model verbs that are followed by bare infinitive, by zero infinity, infinitive without two. And the only one that is followed by two guys is very good, right? All tends to, right? Very good. Okay, let's move on here to number four. Your brother, and then you have a gap, have stolen the money from your purse. Uh, he was at work at that time. He was at work at that time. Is he the responsible for stealing the money? Do we say your brother shouldn't, mustn't, can't, or may not? What do you think is the right option? Very good. Right here we say your brother should, uh, uh, can't, right, have stolen the money. Impossible, right? Okay, very good. Uh, let's move to number five. I don't know why the local authorities allow the factory to expand the manager then we have the gap have bribed them all you will say the manager needn't should can't mass excellent job we see here mass right the manager must have bribed them all must be the one who right you just uh you know push them to to do that right it's very good number six my father won a huge sum of money last year he and then we have a gap work anymore so he gave up his job right so he has enough money right he doesn't need to work so what do you think is the right option guys this he didn't need to shouldn't my uh mightn't or oughtn't very good we see here didn't need to right <laughs> good job great guys Sorry, great. Number seven, it's all stupid of you to leave the car doors unlocked. Someone, then we have a gap, have stolen your digital camera from it. 
Do I say someone could, must, needn't, or shouldn't? What do you think, guys? Very good, right? We see here, someone could, right? I have stolen your digital camera, right? Okay, very nice, good. Okay, number eight, guys. Okay, we have your you, and then you have have stolen, um, have seen him at the fair, uh, at the fair trade. You was at home with me at that time. Do we say mustn't? You needn't, you shouldn't, you can't. Excellent job. We see here you can't great have seen him at that time. Impossible. Great. Very good. Okay, guys. Now number nine. Uh, I carried my umbrella around all day, but I didn't. But it didn't rain once. I carried my umbrella all day, but it didn't rain once. I and then you have a gap. Have taken it with me. Do we say I needn't, or I shouldn't? or I mustn't, or I didn't need to. What do you think is the right option here, guys? Very good, right? We say, I needn't have taken it with me. It wasn't necessary. We here we are expressing the lack of necessity. It wasn't raining, so there was no point or no need of taking the, uh, the umbrella out, right? Okay, correct, very good. Number 10 on the last statement, guys. Uh, he looked exhausted when he arrived. He, let's see the conclusion now, guys. He have had a terrible journey. Do we say he can't? He can, rather. He should. He must. Or he ought to. What do you think is the right modal verb to express the correct meaning? Of course, here we are deducing a certain facts you know, from a certain result, from, you know, sort of the data that we have, right? What do you think is the right model verb? Very good, right? Here we say, he must have had a terrible uh, journey. Very good, guys. You've done a good job. Thank you very much for your attention again and patience. And I hope that you have learned a lot from this session and see you in another practice session soon, inshallah. Goodbye.